What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, today's going to be slightly different because it's not a hyper gameplay focused video like most of my videos are. Um, today we're going to be using what is the Warden's Law hand cannon. You might not know what it is because uh, it's pretty irrelevant. Uh, I'm using one with sure shot, tactical mag, opening shot, range finder. But the reason this gun is special is because of double fire being an intrinsic trait. So instead of shooting one, the gun shoots two um it's it's very unique and the main point of this video is to find out your guys thoughts if you think that it's nice to see some variety in legendary weapons or that should be left to exotics because the way i see it is that if you look at the steady hand and the true prophecy for example they're pretty much the same gun they can just roll with slightly different perks but effectively they're the same weapon they're both 120 rpm hand cannons they even have the same model and that's just one of many examples. There's a lot of weapons that function the exact same way as their counterparts. And I'm curious if you guys like the idea of having more variety, even down on the legendary level. Obviously, exotics are their own thing. Exotics are exotic due to exotic perks. But seeing something like this, uh, this double fire perk or double shot perk on the Warden's Law made me think we really should embrace the variety in this game. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. We have got Wormhaven. Probably not the best map to try this primary out. Or maybe it'll be okay. I don't know. We'll try. Uh, we'll rock the snipe. Seeing as I'm not going for a crazy high kill game, I just want to try this hand cannon out. Um, we'll we'll go with the uh, we'll go with the sniper. I think the strat we are gonna go for is go right and float off the rip. Okay, this already feels kind of strange. 42. So yeah, that, that means that only one of the two shots hit, I believe, when you get a 42. And then you'll get like a... Yeah, so you'll get a 92 if they both hit to the head. And you'll get a 46, I think it should be. If you hit one head, but not both. And then I believe it's 26 is to the body. So very, very different damage numbers on this thing. Because... uh. Well, there's no other gun like it. It is the only 120 with double fire. So there you go. You, that's that's what it's like when you get one crit. Oh no. Okay, we got the body shot there. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is it's not the meta. But I heard this thing was horrible. It doesn't really feel that bad so far, in my opinion. I missed that jiggle peek. Oh, dude, he was holding the shield. There was, there was nobody on that lane, and then within the next second, five people just dived into my scope. That was terrifying. But yeah, I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on um, seeing legendary weapons with very unique traits. Because obviously, you know, exotics, exotics are their own thing. Exotics all have something going for them. They got their exotic perks. They're all very unique and different in their own fantastic ways but it's pretty rare that you see a legendary <laughs> like warden's law which has something about it or a characteristic or a perk that sets it apart from every other weapon in that archetype that is a legendary of course because you know it almost feels like it's a it almost feels like it's an exotic legendary it's very odd so where or whether it's good or not is a separate conversation. But in terms of variety and just uh, uniqueness, how do you guys feel about seeing more legendaries like this? Or do you like knowing that, oh, well, everything in this archetype is pretty much the same. It might get some different perks or different base stats, but it's pretty much the same gun. Or do you like it? I, I personally am beyond the point of taking Destiny that seriously. So I kind of like the variety and uniqueness. I think everything be a little bit different. I can't think of many other examples of legendary weapons that are like this. I guess Felwinters. Well, excluding any pinnacle or ritual weapon, because you have, like, Not Forgotten, Lunar's Howl, have Magnificent Howl. Uh, as much as I hate talking about these two, you had the Revoker with Reversal of Fortune and Mountaintop with Micro Missiles. So, those are 
th those are similar in the way that they have these very unique perks, but those are pinnacles, so... The reason they're pinnacles is because they have unique perks. Ah, oh, nice shot. It is really bizarre seeing a 120 RPM do 46, though, when only one of those bullets hits. But yeah, definitely, definitely the most unique feeling hand cannon in the game right now, in my opinion. Whether you like it or hate it, probably, you probably hate it, but it is very different. Oh, dude, he's one shot. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm just amazed because this thing has been, this thing was added in Forsaken as a strike exclusive gun. It has since been sunset, so it's lived its whole lifespan of being usable in the game. And that is, all, that is run out already. It's no longer in the game. And during that whole time, I never used it. This is my first time trying this gun out. But yeah, it is, uh, it is an interesting one. So when you when you do get those 92s, when both bullets hit the head, like that, that's a satisfying kill. Can you waste your other bullet, please, sir? Oh, so I think I hit them both there. I hit one with one bullet, one with the other. Maybe we can get some snipes into the spawn. Or we can just miss. That works, too. You really chaos reached me. Despicable. I didn't kill. I'm coming back for more, bro. Alright, we got him. I'm gonna try not snipe too much. Unless, like, a clip is on or something, because... I am trying to showcase this hand cannon, not the sniper. Beloved, we all know and love it. it well, it is beloved. Ha ha ha. Dude, give me a body shot next time. I'm dead. No. Oh. I wonder if with stasis damage perks or something, I could maybe get better use of this. Or like a charge with light build where I can run around trying to two tap. But technically four tap because it shoots two. This is going to be a confusing video. <laughs> Oh, I got the catalyst for this thing, by the way. So, this will be fun. I haven't really used it yet. But from what I understand, you, like, can't die. So, that's cool. I'm on a mission into their spawn. I think you can also float with it. Oh, no. And I guess I lagged out. Well, there goes that recording. On to the next one. Okay, we go again. And try and not lag out. What do we got? We got a game in progress on the moon. Real quick, let me do that. I don't think there's a single moon map that is good for sniping. What is it? Cauldron and Anomaly? Is that the only two? Hopefully I can actually use this hand cannon and show it off. Ow. Burn. Okay. Is there like a flat wall somewhere? So it shoots two every time. You can see two little bullet holes. It's not just on the first bullet, which had me confused for a while. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. I feel like you have to like really hit them on that, like straight in the middle of the head. Otherwise only one of the two bullets hits. Honestly, like feels like it makes me play better because it's not that good compared to a normal 120. So I like focus on my aim a little bit more instead of getting lazy, which I think most players do subconsciously when they use 120s. Wait, that's an enemy re What's up, dude? What the hell? Look how many damage numbers there was. I hit like all body shots. So when you hit body shots, it seems to register the bullets separately or like display the damage numbers separately. On crits, it groups them. Oh, 
Oh, what the hell? Okay. I'm kind of glad I late joined this game because I only got to play like half of the first game. So now, you know, just half the second game that makes a game. I don't know about that Nova. I do want to try and get like a longer range primary fight. Like shooting across from catwalk to table maybe just to just to see how how consistently you can hit both bullets. Yeah, the point of this video is not to say make more hand cannons that shoot two bullets and are just not as good as normal 120s. The the point is more to say this game is not competitive. We all know that. So embrace the variety and embrace the embrace the craziness of it and do 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 different stuff like this. I feel like you need to make normal weapons too, but it's nice to have these slightly different weapons and different like I feel like there's a good variety in builds and stuff, but weapons is, has never really had the same level of variety, which I'd like to see. I'm enjoying using this, not because it's good, but more just because it's a little bit different to the to the regular 120, which I've used so much. I know I'm wrong, I love using 120s, and I love Destiny hand cannons and Destiny gunplay in general, but... The variety's nice, dude. That's why a lot of people love using exotic weapons all the time. Because they're just different. They just have that different feel to it. This is kind of the same. This is like if a 120 RPM hand cannon met the the exotic rocket launcher, the two-tailed fox, or whatever it's called. That's kinda that's kinda what we're rocking with. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we've seen We've seen them make creative different legendaries for a while now. So I do feel like from range I seem to always just be hitting one of the two crits. Okay. Yeah, keep hitting just one instead of both. Like I said, I'm not saying make more Warden's Law perk hand cannons because it's not that good and it's not that exciting. But it's more exciting than just another 120, you know? I'm saying bring in more variety. Don't bring in more hand cannons like this. I don't want the, the point of this video to be misinterpreted. But shit, maybe make like... You know how duality is. How when you ADS, it's a slug. When you hit fire, it's a pellet. Maybe make that just a shot, like a type of shotgun. Who knows? I'm sure duality would have to change them because that is its exotic thing, but that doesn't seem that crazy for a legendary when we have things like Warden's Lore in the game. And sure, Felwinters has its own perk with shot package, which doesn't feel any different at all. It just makes the gun better and more consistent. Ow. Yeah, like I said, I love... I love using my sweaty loadouts, as you guys have seen, whenever I do the 1v3s and stuff. I get down with some, some 120s and shotguns, or 120s and snipers, and try my best, and it's a lot of fun. But I also... If I'm playing quick play, I don't take the game that seriously, and I, I like that variety, you know? I like it being something different. Damn, nice shot, dude. You put Vorpal on? Or is that just my low, my low resilience? What I kind of want to try to do is get two enemies next to each other and see if I can hit one with one bullet, one with the other, but I don't think it's possible. Oh, dude, if I hit that last double crit, I think I had him. Well, GG, it was fun. Uh, very different, not insane gameplay, and I shot again. Uh... I just want to know your guys' thoughts. If you like the idea of these legendaries being very unique, having different traits and perks, or you like legendaries being set, like this is an aggressive frame hand cannon. It shoots at 120 RPM. It has higher base range, lower stability. Nothing else about it's different other than a different name and different model. Like, do you... Because realistically, it gets to the point where... If you look at last season, for example, 
Spare rations and dire promise, they are the same gun. People have preference, but they are so similar that there's not much in it. Or you have Igneous Hammer, Bottom Dollar, very similar guns. They just look a bit different and can roll different perks. True Prophecy, Steady Hand, they don't even look different. They're just two good 120 RPM hand cannons. So I'm curious if you like just a bit more variety. And I'm not saying it's a good gun. And I'm not saying you should bring more 120s with this very strange double fire, hard hitting twin fire rounds perk into it. But do you like the idea of these weapons having unique perks? I'm genuinely curious. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you for the support on the channel recently. It's been insane. We're closing in on 20K. So if you're new and you haven't already, please be sure to hit that sub button. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.